Teach with Shar. I am Shar, of course. Thank you for all of my subscribers who are returning and all of my new subscribers. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is all about the website Holler. I am going to do a review on the website as well as the items that I purchased. I will also show you a few things that I picked up from Target on their, um, their dollar spot. I found a few items on clearance as well as a couple of things that I picked up at my local library and it's called Friends of the Library. It's the bookstore that's inside of the library. So let's get started. So I will begin with Holler. I found out about this website through another YouTuber. Her name is uh, Fourth Grade Fab and hopefully I didn't butcher that but I will put a link to her channel in the description box. And um, so basically this website kind of reminds me a little bit of Wish. It is from within the U.S. It is based out of California, so that is a good perk about um, ordering from this website is that you won't have to wait long for shipping. Um, my shipment took maybe about a week and a half to get to me. And when you first make a purchase on Holler, you have to purchase, your first shipment is free. And in order to get that free shipment, you must purchase, um, your total purchase must be $10. And I also received a coupon code for $5 off my first purchase. And that came about, I want to say, anywhere from 48 to 72 hours after I created an account and signed up through um, Facebook. And so I ended up using that $5 off coupon for this purchase. So I actually spent $15, but with my $5 coupon, of course, I only spent $10 and shipping was free. So let's go ahead and get started. I purchased um, two packs of their three jewel tone rulers and I wanted to purchase these because they have the grip, finger grip on the center and these will be put into my um, VIP section in my classroom where my students can sit and they'll have uh, access to all kinds of cool school supplies that are not actually available to the other students just an incentive to get them to work hard and always try their best and so these were actually only uh, one dollar I have a list here so I make sure I tell you the right price but you get three for a dollar that was a great deal these types of rulers for, that I found when you're not shopping back to school supply they tend to be more expensive than the traditional wooden ones so but I do like these because not only do they have the finger grip they are uh, transparent so you can see through whatever you're trying to uh, measure so I like those okay and then I also picked up a pack of highlighters and these highlighters are very very um, I don't want to say colorful what's the word pigmented they're very pigmented and I already opened them. You get four. Uh, these were also one dollar, so you get four for a dollar. These are better than your uh, dollar store brand, I would say. Um, they didn't bleed through the paper and in fact, I will insert a um, video clip of me using these highlighters so you can see what it looks like on paper. But this was a really great buy. They do have the chisel tip, which I really love. Um, and yeah, so they are liquid highlighters, so that's that. And I picked up these mechanical pencils. These are by Papermate. You get four in here, and then you get two extra erasers. These are, um, 5.5 lead. I really like Papermate, and these will go inside of my VIP caddy for my students. And, um, like I said, th these are 0.5. They're mechanical pencils, and they do come with the extra, two extra, uh, what am I trying to say? The extra pencil erasers, and these were $2. I picked up a pack of 20 count small binder clips. These binder clips were $1, and my Dollar Tree actually doesn't carry the small size, so when I saw these, I was really happy because these are something that I definitely used during my student teaching were the smaller size binder clips and this helped me to keep the different classes that I was teaching because I taught social studies and math um, taught social studies three times and math once so I was able to keep all of my classes separate and I used the smaller binder clips the large binder clips I really didn't use as much so I knew I needed to invest in the, binder, the small binder clips 
I know that's a really good deal. I haven't opened these to see what the quality is like, but um, I can always do another review on that later. Okay, another thing that I picked up were more thank you cards, and these are by Spritz. You can find these at Target. I believe Walmart also carries this brand. And these um, were all a dollar each, and you get eight in each pack. And I really like these. It just, I love pink and green together. I always have. And um, these have hearts on them. I will get a closer picture so you can see. These are blank cards, so you can just write your own message. And I want to uh, add more to my thank you card collection because, of course, as a teacher, you'll get plenty of gifts and you want to have thank you cards on hand so that you can always write thank you notes. And so, um, yeah, these were a dollar piece, so I thought that was a really good deal as well. And I also picked um, these fruit-centered glitter gel pens. And these pens are very pigmented as well. They did not bleed through. And um, the only bad thing I can say about these is that you can't really smell the scent of the flavors um, as you can with like the, the markers, the scented markers. Those are, uh, the smell is a lot stronger. These, you can't barely smell the, um, the scents. And these fruited pens were $1.75. But for what you're paying for as far as the color and the quality of the ink, um, I think it's an okay buy. I would buy these again. And these will also go into my VIP section for my students to use. I also purchased this frog paperclip holder. I thought this was really cute. It's, um, I got it because it was green and I needed more green items to go into my classroom. And this frog was $1.50. And I was a little disappointed because it was a little, um, I guess, damaged maybe. Uh, at the top of the mouth, it has like, um, I don't know, it's kind of messed up on the lip. And I'll post a picture so you can see what that looks like. And then there's a little bit on his arm. Um, like whatever this is made out of, it's just a little uh, defect. But it comes with five paper clips, so that was nice. They're small, mini paper clips. I'm not sure if I'll have this on my desk or if it'll be on my um, available to students to use. My students last year didn't do well with paper clips. They would um, unbend them and twist them so each group of students is different so we'll see. Um, I might end up just keeping this on my desk at least so I can monitor uh, the paper clips. I also got a gold pen. It's a regular black ink ball point pen and I got it because of course it is gold and this pen it is a twist top um, not twist top but it's, this is a twist pen to get the point to come out and this was two dollars for two dollars I think it, it's a little expensive for two dollars for the quality of the pen it is just an average ink pen um, however this is the cheapest gold pen that I have been able to find on the internet so I mean it's fine for what it is. You can always change the ink that you use in pen, so maybe I'll just find better quality ink that I can put inside of here. And um, one thing that was that I absolutely love from this haul from Holler was this globe. This is a decorative globe. It is a five inch globe and it says explore. I thought this was really nice and I plan to put this on my bookshelf for the students just as a decorative item. Okay, and then I also went to my bookstore, not my bookstore, my public library, and they have a Friends of the Bookstore within the library where you can purchase books and other multimedia um, items. And so I picked up four books. They were 50 cents a piece. The first book that I got is Jerry Spinelli, Loser. I also got Sixth Grade Secrets by Louis Sakar, and I hope I'm saying the last name right. I not sure <laughs> if I'm saying that right. And then Holes, of course, Holes is a Newbery Award winner, and I love getting the award winner books for my collection. And um, the movie was really good, so I'm hoping that the book is as good. And then I also have Middle School, The Worst Years of My Life by James Patterson. Again, those were all 50 cents a piece, only pay two dollars. So check your local library to see if they have a bookstore within, and also check their 
um, dates for when they have their book sale because they'll usually mark down their books to like anywhere from 10 cents to 25 cents for paperback copies so and that's that I also went to Target and I only went to Target to get cash back because Target offers ten dollars um, to get cash back with their red card <coughs> Excuse me, and so of course you have to make a purchase in order to get cash back. So I went to the dollar spot hoping that I could find some of the classroom supplies that everyone has been sharing on Instagram and I wasn't able to find anything. So I just went throughout the store just looking. I normally start in the, um, not the classroom, I normally start in the school supply section and look in, on the clearance wall, on the end caps, and I was able to find a 70% off end cap for the dollar spot and so I found these gold cording and braids and these were 30 cents a piece originally one dollar and these here are seven yards and they're gold and white and then this one was the only one I could find that was gold and this one is eight yards I plan to purchase some mini um, clothes hangers clothing hangers or clothing pins to hang up pictures for when the kids are doing fun science experiments or when we go on field trips or any type of fun day that we have and just have a wall where I can post all the pictures. I also found these mini banners and there are 12 pennants in them. One is gold and the other is like a regular cardboard color. It does come with some twine but I may end up using um, some different twine. I'm not sure. Maybe I can find black or something um, to use and this I'll probably just use on a bulletin board and this one is 24 inches long and then I bought two of these these were also 30 cents a piece I found some adhesive letters they're 49 count they are glitter I don't know if they uh, the glitter is showing on camera but there's a picture for you to see and I'm not sure how I will use these. Being that these are adhesive, I may just um, cut out the letters or peel the letters off and laminate them using my personal laminator. So that way I can reuse these letters because I really like them because of the glitter. And they will match perfectly for my Kate Spade theme. These were $3 originally and I only paid $0.90 cents a piece for these. So that was a really good deal for these letters. I was able to find some metallic markers uh, as well. These rang up 30 cents for me. Uh, I have purchased the silver and I purchased the gold. The favorite thing that I picked up was these hanging chalkboard signs. They were only a dollar each. I have two black ones and I have one red. I plan to use one of these for the VIP table for my students and this will be just the sign that says VIP and this will be on their supply caddy in the center of their table. And I will probably use another one either for my um, table, maybe I can put my name on it, or I can put one on the VIP photo wall where when students become a VIP member, I will take their picture and put it on their, put it on the wall. And so maybe I can have this there as um, a sign, or I might hang this outside of my classroom. I'm not sure just yet what I'll do with that, but... All in all, I was really pleased with my hauler purchase. I probably will purchase from them again. I may only purchase like the rulers and maybe the mechanical pencils. I don't think I'll purchase any other decorative items unless they're a really good deal how the um, globe was only 50 cents. Other than that, I probably um, won't purchase anything else from them. Only like... Um, like small school supplies that I think are a really good deal. Um, the shipping was really fast. I didn't have any issues with uh, the packaging. Um, everything was in its own individual uh, bag, I would say, or packaging. And there was also some bubble, um, like filler inside of the bag, inside of the box as well. So um, yeah, but make sure you look in the description box. I do have a code for you to receive two dollars off your first purchase and that code will be in the bottom for you as always make sure you leave your comments below ask any questions and i try my best to respond to all questions and comments within 24 hours and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching bye